A great artist once said that the world is a canvas of our imagination and it sometimes runs wild. Else, how would you explain some of the art you see on this show? Take Joe Madu, for instance. He gave us a dose of that last week with his exhibition at Didi Museum, not to mention the many others we've seen on At House. We also have an interesting lineup today. We'll give you the details after this inspiring quote on books. Reading, like writing, is a creative act. He's young, talented, and the Quintesson Gallery in Lagos has decided to exhibit his works of art, which are portraits of different kinds of pets. Take a look. Man's Heritage and Man's Best Friend is the title of Badibo Oluwashe's first solo exhibition at Quintessence Gallery, Lagos. I work with oil color majorly, but there are some few of my works that are in acrylic. Um, I used palette knife for my works, and they are impressionistic. Some of my works, I paint them in a la prima, at a sitting, just finish it all, and some take a, a period of time, a process, but I find uh, achieving my works in a swift manner interesting. As I, if you observe my works, you see swift strokes of palette knife on it. So I, I, I love bold stroke, bold colors, you know. And that's what I've, I've done with my works here in, in Synonyms. And what has he put out there? Portraits done with oil on canvas with the subject making faces. He has titled it appropriately because anyone can tell what each piece is about from looking at them. There are also two issues he's addressing and trying to find the missing link. We see works of art such as Baby's Rage, Daddy's Glasses, I Hear You. That's for the cute and cuddly children. Daniel is one of my students back in, in Benin while I was serving, you know. Uh, I met Daniel and he inspires me as a young child because of his ability to, you know, to always put up a smile on his face, no matter what. And right here behind me is uh, Ike and Nibidu. Ike, you know, he's talking about the nature of dogs to show their loyalty to man. I read a story about a Japanese dog, you know, who when the owner had died, still goes to visit the train station every evening for six years, hoping that one day the owner will come back. And that shows that dogs are loyal to, to us, you know, to a very great extent, no matter what. That ability, that value in them, to be able to stay by your side when you're sad, when you're happy, and remain there with you, is a very, is a very important value that we, in society as men, we need to, we need to walk up in ourselves and, and show. For the dogs, like Bruno, Lola and Rex, their paintings speak louder than words. You can tell which one is happy, sad or bored. My experience with dogs, because I have, I have a, a dog that my brother owns, now late, Coco. You know, Coco goes by my side anytime, anything I do, you know, and she has the ability to read my mood also. This, you know, this inspires me as a person to just see the beauty and joy on their faces, you know, children and dogs. So that's how synonyms came about. Is the emotion the catch? Or is the artist just one who adores children? I'm inspired by children, by faces of children. The joy on their face, the ability for them, you know, to, to make life beautiful their innocence, their beauty, their patience. Yes, you could say they are, they are not self-sufficient, they could be selfish at times, demanding attention and, and the stuff like that. But their life is beautiful. No matter how we are as adults, when we see a child, there's something about them that compels you to just relax when you look into a child's eye, because you know that this child has nothing against me. This child is pure. This child put our trust 
in me, our life in my hands, you know. You can deceive a child easily. A child trusts you blindly, you know. Put all, all that she has into, into, into your hands. And so likewise with dogs. And this inspires me in society. That if we in society can also portray these values, we, if we can learn to trust one another, to love one another, but of course with a, with a measure of caution also, but if you can inculcate these values of children and put into into society, we are going to have a very beautiful nation and we are going to have a, a nation where people have joy. Man's best friend also has some virtues that catches his eye, probably a dog lover. It has been a product of my past experience with children and pets. You know, during, because of, uh, I've spent time with children, I've taught in two primary schools, uh, in schools before, uh, before doing this, you know, so children have something about them that is fascinating. Their innocence, their beauty, you know, the value that they possess is very interesting. And dogs on the other side, they tend to be loyal personalities, as in loyal pets. You know, they are ability to stay with you for a long time and they, they can read our mood. And both of them, they are not self-sufficient. They look up to man, you know, to care for them and cater for them. It seems galleries are trying to encourage young hands to get stronger and better by opening their doors for them to exhibit and go solo. His color texture and the way it, it does its work is very, very, very inspirational and very calm. If you look at the paintings, the faces, the way it takes time to make it come to, 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 to reality, it makes it so interesting. And to me, my own observation is his colors are very, 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 very interesting. He's a graduate of the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Ogbomosho, Oyo State, Southwest Nigeria. Well, I can't connect the dots between man and man's best friend, but I guess she just decided to let his imagination run wild and this next group of artists have a knack for doing just that we'll tell you more about them in a moment he earned his first degree in fine arts from the Ahmad Bello University Zaria Nigeria in 1973 then studied art history under Roy Cyber at Indiana University, Bloomington, Indiana, in 1979, where he received his MA and PhD degrees. His professional career began in Nigeria as a cartoonist and used his cartoons to draw attention to social and political issues. Mm -hmm. 